A 10, Bert coming in. Love that, that's perfect. Another hardened, A 10, which is great. Uh, let's get ourselves a recon helicopter all the way up on this ridge and then we'll start scouting out Tucson Sean. Oh, that's so beautiful. So the same thing that we did with the Mavericks or the F-18s, we can do here where we just kind of let them kill the tanks, get some experience. Not Never a bad thing. Oh, that's just so awesome. Okay, let's evacuate now. OH-6, move up. Okay, target one and target two. So let's see what happens here. It should target both those tanks now. One away, perfect. Oh, look at that, some missiles, some guns. Oh, that's awesome. All right, howdy folks, welcome back to more war game, Red Dragon. I just did a weird movement with my hand. Doesn't matter, camera is not on, you can't see me. I could be sitting here naked. Disclaimer, I am not naked. With that awesome intro, I guess uh, we could uh, continue our, our almost at Soviet Korean, I don't know, what, what is wrong with me today? We are continuing our second Korean War campaign. Now, last time we managed to do the Battle of Sanchan and not even crash. Like, what is this? It looks like our time travel experiment definitely worked out for us in the long run. Now, we did end up losing a Leclerc or three. Um, they were the last of the Leclerc brigade holding that line near the dockyard. And um, the crew is gone, but never will be forgotten for the heroic sacrifice, allowing us to win the battle and destroying two of their three units. It's a shame that this one tank regiment got away. Uh, their Type 59s, it's not really scary. They're just annoying. They're going to come back uh, potentially to Sanchan. But I do have some lesser well-equipped uh, South Korean units that we are probably going to just send over to Sanchan. We've already sent one. Um, we'll leave some of the lesser equipped infantry units here as well. And then next turn, we'll probably move the majority of them into Pyongyang. We'll probably heal the Leclerc's, etc., etc. Pretty basic stuff. Now, I was contemplating this... And I think it is a good move to do the following. And don't be like, oh, he's not going to do the naval battle. Well, I hate naval battles, as you are very much aware, I am assuming. But I really need to heal these Mavericks. And, uh, well, Hornets, technically, they have Mavericks. 15 points, uh, it's going to hurt. But I had to do it. It was from that battle in Tanchan where we kind of just sacrificed three of them really stupidly. But, um, you know, had to do it, able to at least heal these Nighthawks, then we can next turn, or can we move it already back? I don't think we can. Next turn, we'll move it back, and there's no rush for me to take on this Kuznetsov. We'll get to it eventually. What this does allow me, though, is it allows me to get these Prowlers and send them over to Pyongyang, mostly because as of right now, there is a HQ-6 and a PGZ unit. And I'm assuming their goal is to try and, well, good luck trying, get Pyongyang back. So we didn't have any seed aircraft, which is obviously to counter their radar. We didn't have any, so I figured it was a good idea for me to pull back some of these seed aircraft. I don't think I really need to move any of these other planes. They're all fine. What I would love, how, however, would be to get, uh, where are they, under the Bellawood, these Avengers. They are 35 points, but they do come with Maverick Harriers, which are just a little bit sort of lesser Hornets, but still, hey, pretty good. And they get some, you know, all right, you know, anti-helicopter missiles. But it's really these ones where we can just spam four Rocket Hydra Harriers. And they're basically, in my opinion the American equivalent of the Sabres, which I can't really use. Gone over this before. Any aircraft I call in here, I can't send to Pyongyang, which I think might be an oversight or might be on purpose. But they're now useless. So calling in anything down here is just a waste of money. I do really want to get some of these French fighters, the F-111s. Uh, you know, we did have them, but then we time-traveled. Um, we have the Alat. I really would love 
to call in uh, some of these French helicopters, especially the Tigers are great, but even these Cassiopes are pretty awesome. I still want to call in the entire Commonwealth Air Brigade, but that is like 105 points. That's a little expensive right now. And then I think we'll be getting some more reinforcements here in the coming turns where we get access to the A-10s and actually no, we already called the A-10s and never mind but we, we'll be getting access to more American equipment like Nighthawks and F-15 Eagles. Then there is still some things I'm thinking about not the Sea Harrier squad I think these are just mostly anti-air missiles but the Enterprise itself also has some Harriers and these are eight Harriers with freaking bombs and it's only like a thousand well technically about two thousand pounds worth of bombs but that is still good. For 60 points, you get a bomber that I, you don't really have to care about. So I'm heavily considering investing some more into the aircraft side of things over here on the Bella Wood and the Enterprise. But with that all being said, we probably want to assign these rooks because we do not need the prowlers to fly back to the carrier right now. The Nighthawks are going to have to stay here. I'm, I'm considering... Keeping them around, I guess we could send them to Tanshan, because we just, you know, clean them up. I guess our Tomcats, they're not doing anything. I don't really think we need them in Pyongyang, because we have the KFC-16s, and we have other fighters here already. If they do send these Q-5Ds or the Q-5Is down, I think this is not Q-5-1. I think someone said because there's a Q-5D, it would make sense for this to be a Q-5I. We'll send the Tomcats here as well, so we have some actual air superiority fighters. And the Trimatruders are going to stay with the ship. So I guess we'll enter turn and see what the Chinese, Soviets, and North Koreans are going to be doing. No, I don't think there's many North Koreans left. Lots of movement there from Chongjin into Kilju. More Soviet reinforcements coming in in the background there. So I guess we'll send our Tomcat and our Nighthawks back in here. We'll move the Enterprise. So now we have at least a Q5Is covered by our Tomcats. They can get a bunch of them, though. And then I guess these guys are going to have to fly back. I think it might be a good idea at this point to assign them to Pyongyang. Because we have so many units in Pyongyang, I can barely even see what's there anymore. I'm not really worried about, um, you know, losing Pyongyang anymore. Let's do a quick look through, however, of let's heal. Oh, oh no. Oof. That's a lot of points there, bud. Okay, let's heal these K263s. I guess this, what, we lost? Did we lose a Cesar? Oh, we did lose a Cesar somehow. Okay, we'll just uh, refit all these units. We'll take a look. We might have lost uh, like one AH, one J. Oh, and maybe some infantry. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll heal all of these units. Only cost me a couple points. We're going to leave the majority of them here. I do want to maybe move the helicopters over to Pyongyang. Because I'm, I'm going to keep those there. Uh, let's take a look. Do we need any fobs here? I really don't think we do. I guess we're going to keep this very bleh, sort of low-level unit in Sanshan. So we'll R&R &R you. We're going to keep this infantry regiment. Because it has nothing really crazy good. Uh, the naval tab is also good to keep here. So if they do attack Sanshan or Sanshan, we can call in our naval units. We have some extra M40, some recon, a couple of like mortars. This is a pretty decent unit to just kind of keep here in Sanshan. Like I said, I'm going to keep the 15th armor battalion here. And I'm thinking that we may want to just pull everyone out of here. That's not those three units. We could maybe keep a K263s here just because we want some AA. But we do have some we do have some stingers, or they're just kind of bad ones. We have some light stingers here. Some ships we actually you know, see uh, this, the fact that we have ships here is already good enough AA. So what we'll do next turn is we'll pull all three of these, the Leclerc's, pardon me, and the air defense company. All the Pyongyang, and this Pyongyang looks like an absolute mess right now. It doesn't help that I've got three of these uh, Japanese airborne uh, planes in there. Take a look at Tanshan. We're going to have to fight both these battles, clearly. There's no way around that. 24,000. So here they really only have a couple planes, a bunch of tanks, and, and that's it. So this is just going to be... Do we have any Rigan helicopters? I think we do. Recon. Yes, Rigan helicopters. You don't even have any missiles, so our recon helicopters can just hover around. We'll use the F-18s to knock out their tanks. They can't counter my F-18s this time. And 
we'll be able to use our Tomcats to knock out their aircraft. Now I should have looked, I think the Q5Is are the cluster bomb variant. We're going to just quickly set up a very basic force and we'll be right back. All right, so very basic. We got two CVs in on the field, one in Alpha, and I guess we should probably move one of these to Alpha here, one in Killju. Let's put this right here. Does it cover it? Very basic. Okay, come on. Don't be rude here. Very basic stuff. We'll put you down here and we'll deploy you. No. Okay, well, I should have done this before we're starting to record again. This is a bit awkward. There we go. We have an OHP. I think, don't think it can really move very much further than where it is right now. But um, I've got an OHP. I could easily save some money and get one of these. Um, Where are they? Oh, wait. Wait, is it under? Here, I could get one of these Lav C2s who would easily go here. And I would save, like, what? Lav C2s, 120 points. This is 165. So I would save, like, 45 points. Which I'm not really necessarily, I don't really need any points right now. And UHP obviously can defend itself at least. We have a CV here, which is infantry based on the point that I think is closest to Taishan. And the reason for that is just so I can um, call in air from here, here, and the uh, the naval, uh, uh, you know, the naval field call in area. Um, we have a bunch of US Marines, small infantry and some South Korean basic infantry here to cover the CV. And one thing that I should note before we get going is this super toxic thing about this game. So you look at the recon tab and you see a 55 point recon helicopter. Hey, that's pretty good. Probably worth buying this, right? Look down here. If we look at, okay, well don't, okay, that doesn't work. I can't point it out. At the very bottom of this card, you see a bunch of numbers, fuel, well, you know, very self-explanatory, Strength, it's basically its health, size, optics, you know, everything kind of makes sense. The optics thing is where you want to look. So optics are good on this thing. It does have weapons, which, you know, is a big plus. The OH-6 doesn't have weapons, but the optics are very good. So the OH-6 is, in my opinion, a better, be better, better scout helicopter. Because you want your scout helicopter to probably stay far away, spot stuff, and that's it. Now the Cobra here would be good if you're going to play more uh, aggressively, I suppose. If you really want to, um, uh, you know, play aggressively and 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 hope that you can, um, you know, spot something and then go around the enemy lines to to spot what's going on. But realistically, it's just kind of a joke. You don't. You. I would not use recon helicopters in a very offensive way unless it was the last resort like i know there's an enemy artillery piece or something and i have to use the uh, recon helicopter to try and find it before it destroys my cv or something it just doesn't make any sense to me personally to use anything but the best you know eyes on helicopter that you can afford we're getting so many points this is going to be great so it's kind of annoying i lost my hornets obviously i lost three of them in that last battle which is just super sad but the good thing is that now there's a lot of target practice to be had for these hornets and um the thing is obviously uh, they are well they came as hardened i think it goes hardened and then veteran and then elite so the good thing here is that we can kind of just train all these new hornets to try and get some kills hopefully some of them level up and then we should have, hopefully, by the end of this battle, four elite hornets ready to use in any coming battle. I'll put a recon cobra up there to kind of keep that uh, road covered. And we are going to uh, buy that last hornet, though I kind of don't want to use him as much as possible because I don't want to waste um, targets that could be killed by a regular hornet that's not elite yet. Because this one obviously is a top level. Um, I believe that in the game stats, it doesn't tell you what the differences are between regular, um, like basically rookie or very basic units and the most elite ones. It's the thing that I really liked about Seal Division, that they do tell you what the differences are between units that are uh, better or worse. It does tell you when you go into the games like Arsenal sort of the deal that exists. Uh, you can definitely tell that they're better, they have their stats sort of shown uh, but personally, I prefer the Seal Division way, where you can just click on the unit card, right, and, and find out that way. Okay, let's now knock out some more of these ZTZs. Our Hornets are having a great day. Hopefully, we'll see some uh, veterancy level up here soon. Nope, that's not it yet, but, you know, it can't... Oh, there's a Q5I. There's multiple Q5Is. Now, it's not going to... The missiles aren't going to be able to reach it just yet, because it's going really fast. Okay, let's move these Cav-Vs back here. 
Get ourselves a Super Cobra to sit here and cover the flank. OH6. Might want to start watching out here, bud. Okay, target. All right, they're coming after me here. They really want to be gone. Okay. Cobra, you're going to start engaging that. And I guess these Hornets engage. Okay, we lost one of our LVTPs. You know, can't have it all. Okay, I don't know why you're not using your damn missiles. Okay, that wasn't really worth the Hornet, I guess, but couldn't really see anything else. Cobra knocked that out. Maybe our Cobra can engage. Oh, never mind. Actually, that might have been a, a Smaun that took that out. Looks like it was. That's awesome. I'm holding this pretty close. I really don't see a point in going, like, super aggressive or being kind of stupid and losing more Hornets. There's one thing that I've seen in that last battle is that the person who plays uh, over-aggressively loses all of his equipment. Uh, that's not something I want to happen again. I guess we're going to do, we're going to get another two Tomcats. So now we have three Tomcats ready to roll. Uh, we could maybe consider getting some of these Seahawks, which are awesome. They'll destroy all of their equipment they have here. We do see their CV. We're going to just ping that in case we lose sight of that at some point during this battle. It not, might be worth getting a Crotal or two to sit here in case they do send some more aircraft at me. Hornet, uh, I guess you can uh, start going in and start engaging. I do love the ATGM attacks on tanks in this game. It's so cinematic. Oh, you missed both those missiles. That was a waste. Okay, well, we knocked some of them out. Uh, looks like we still have... But we have one hardened, two hardened, a veteran, and the elite one. So it is working out. The strategy is slowly working. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. Helicopter. We got ourselves one of these cheaper Cobras. See if our Tomcat with the Vulcan can... Okay, well, that wasn't horrible. We'll use another one uh, just so we can destroy this without using Mavericks on it. Hornet. Engage. See, I'm keeping this a little cheeky right now on purpose. Okay. I want to... Nice. There goes that. I want to use uh, these tanks as target practice for my Hornet pilots. Just so they... Oh, there's another CV right there. So we could technically knock out that one. I'm just trying to use this as target practice. We can hopefully uh, get to upgrading my Hornets. Like I said, I just want them to get some targets pra target practice. And this is the easiest way of doing so. Uh, you know, it's kind of sad for these Chinese tankers who are driving right into my trap. Okay, well, maybe you should kill one of them first. Hey, there we go. That's a veteran. So we got two of them upgraded already. Just one more is at hardened level. Instead of going for the CVs, might as well try and milk them for every uh, every minute of battle I can. Uh, you know, every, the longer I milk their, them being alive, the more I can upgrade my units. I guess we could try and do like a triple strafe and run on a tank and kind of see what happens. I, I assume nothing will actually really come from it. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, I didn't really think much would happen from that. We're going to get them out of there. I wouldn't be doing this if they had any sort of AA, but yeah, this is kind of safe for us. All right, the one of the hardened units will get them to engage. Our Super Cobra is knocking them out right when they get to the bridge. Hopefully we can knock some of them out. That's good. And that's another two. That's perfect. Cobra knocking them out once again, which actually makes a Cobra go up to hardened, which is great. Okay, now we need to watch out with these guys. Helicopters. Let's get some... Okay, one elite, bunch of... Okay, these are trained and hardened. So it might be good for us to get some sea cobras down here. So they can at least, you know, have eyes on things. I guess we'll maybe knock out one of these tank formations okay this is the elite one maybe we'll just have him engage basic things hornet coming right up with a dose of maverick that is super awesome to see okay our elite one that managed to knock out one i believe obviously it's the least important one i don't care for it too much because i'm just here to oh, did he knock one out or he just lost eyes on it maybe are we getting two, two Cobras from different... No, didn't I call two of them in? Maybe not. Maybe I just called one. We'll just get them to engage. Hornet, guess what? I have a target for you. <laughs> and it's a, it's a CV. So the, this Cobra could easily knock those out. And I could just, you know, 
get the Cobras upgraded, but I really want to get my Hornets because they are the super most important ones in my personal opinion. The Hornets are going to be a huge asset later on in this campaign. See Cobra? About to have eyes on. And there it is, toe away. Oh, looking good, looking good. No, horrible, horrible aim. Okay, 50% accuracy. Let's go, let's go. Oh, you missed again. How did you miss that and again? Okay, Hornet, guess what? Here's some targets for you. As we also get a Seahawk here, just because we can. Hornet knocks one out, knocks another one out. Okay, Super Cobra down to its last missile. Uh, are we getting attacked by something? Oh, we're getting my... I do not want to lose this for no reason. I just moved a vehicle, I believe, accidentally. Yeah, do not want to move that. Oh, see, I love the Seahawk. It is such, it's just basically a UH-60, but it has such a high accuracy on its missiles, it doesn't really seem to care. Okay. And then we, oh, we made this guy retreat. That's good. Have him engage. We knocked one of their CVs out, but at least we know that there's at least another one somewhere. Our Seahawk is also out of ammo. So we're going to just continue going down the line of helicopters. Every time we get them, we just level them up. Did we get this thing leveled up? It starts trained. So this guy just went from trained to hardened, which is great. This gives him a little bit more better stats. And then we can move this recon up a little bit, I think. AH-1T, stabilizer, 50% versus 70 Okay, it doesn't matter because it drives into the town here and it's just going to get annihilated. We could consider getting um, a quad cargo truck to drive up here to get some supplies. But this is just bullying of the highest magnitude, but I'm totally here for it. I, I love it. I'm really annoyed that those Q5Is are in, uh, showing their faces because I would love to knock those out coming into this, uh, this area, obviously, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Hornet, guess what? Uh, we have, okay, well, you have three hardened, and we have one elite, which is, honestly, if we can get all of them to become elite in this battle, it'll be great. That is, is exactly what I think we want. And one knocked out, and that's another one knocked out. And uh, looking good, looking exactly good what I want to happen here. Covert, a little damaged. Maybe we'll get an LCU to come up the... Where is it? Am I stupid? There it is. I don't know why I'm blind. I don't know why I'm blind. There you go. See Cobra? While we're here. And I guess we can get our hardened Cobra to come over here. Engage one, engage two. Change altitude so we can see a little more, maybe. Hornet, ready one. Ready one, ready two. Okay, this guy might have been a bit short. He has one missile left. That's all right. And we are just having a... I'm having a field day with this. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is a payback for the Hornets that were lost in the previous battle, um, which was really my fault. So, I mean, it's not really... It's sort of uh, kind of rude, honestly. Just look at the Highway of Death kind of situation we got going on here. We have another Hornet that's ready. So we'll just continue horning as much as we can, just because it makes my life easier. Missile? Oh, really? We missed all of them? Well, we missed four of them, three of them. We could technically do some strafing off these cargo trucks. That would be fun. So we'll actually just end up doing that. Recon, move a little bit to the left, see if we can get eyes on. Tomcats, we just have to hit 120 mil on these trucks, I think, and it should blow the majority of them up. Oh, the mountain might have really messed with that attack run there. Hornet, uh, actually, we'll attack this one first, and then we'll go for this one. And uh, Tomcats turning around. I'm really annoyed still that there's no Q5Is. I think they know that there's just no way for them to really... Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're using Tomcats to strafe ground targets right now, man. Alright. Can they see the target? That's the question. There we go. They can see the trucks now. 
No. Still haven't done it yet. Alright, someone was at the door, and you'll always see that, you know, have to answer the door and then uh, come back. Because it's rude to let people stand out in the open. Also, I think it was a package. Oh, look at that triple kill. Now, I wonder if that counts as three kills for the Tomcat, or if it counts as one kill for the Tomcat, and then the other two just get blown up and don't count as any kills whatsoever. I guess we'll never really know. Oh, uh, well, I guess I could check the score sheet, see if the Tomcat got a triple kill or not. Knock him out, please. And that might have been their zero points. Really annoyed that we didn't do anything to their Q5 eyes. Let's take a look at the trucks, though. Tomcat. One truck, so the other two were just blown up in an accident by Peng Zi Ming. So Peng Zi Ming is responsible for the other two uh, tr cargo truck explosions. And then we lost just a single LVTP. So we basically, we lost one Marine squad. Because of the way the, the, the you know the, the game works. So we lost one Marine squad. It's kind of annoying because... Now the number is off, and it's going to piss me off forever. So we'll probably heal it up, uh, you know, get it all up to par again. All right, so my apologies for that. There was another two delivery guys came to the door, two different ones just as I sat down. That's why I probably sounded a little confused because I was looking outside being like, what the hell is going on here? Anyway, the battle for Pyongyang. It's going to be a brutal one. There isn't a way around this. It's not going to be bad. Because we have a lot of stuff ourselves. But look at their points, alright? 12,000, basically. And it's all coming from these 86 tanks. They have 36 140-point tanks and 50 80-point tanks. I think we're going to do the same thing where we lock down X-Ray and just hold it down with a bunch of infantry. And maybe we can get um, a CV and Anjin and help us out. Maybe we can get some of those Mars units that we have, the Mars rocket launching systems with their uh, their rockets hopefully can save the day. I think what we're going to do now... Oh, can we get those to spawn? Okay, we can, I think we can get them to spawn in Seoul at least, so that's good. So this is the new Tigers. That's awesome. And then we have the Air Force. I think we can spawn those in right here. So we could actually get the Anzacs... And we can actually get maybe one of these infantry units, and we'll just fly them over to Dijon, land them, and uh, we'll work our way to, through the Commonwealth Air Brigade over time. We won't be able to call them in at the same time, but that's fine. Now, that leaves us with the Battle for Pyongyang. We do have the... Did we cut the little falls? Did I just... For... No, wait. I bought the F-111s and the... Right, right, okay. Scary thing is their tanks. I don't care about anything else, but their tanks are scary. We do have a beautiful, which I'm really excited for personally, A-10 Thunderbolts at the ready. But I think we're going to do the same thing here where we just dig in and hope to God that we can keep this uh, together this time. Because last time we were facing off against mostly like lighter units. So it might be worth to put like a CV vehicle all the way back here. And then we need our highest AP power. 23, 25, 18, 19, okay. Even the Milans are actually relatively not high. I'm surprised how high these Legion 90s AP powers. I'm being of 24, which is good. Rima's 23. We'll probably do the same thing. So we're going to take a quick break. I'll put my guys down and uh, we'll show you what I've done. All right, very basic. Set up a bunch of AA and good units. We have Hai Bayung, the South Korean Marines. We have some uh, Rima and Legion 90. Uh, we have a bunch of, like AA, like I said, a FOB in here. I guess we could get some trucks, but uh, we don't have really have. We'll put one like right here for now. Um, and we have two CVs to try and be able to hold the line a little better. We're going to immediately run all of these guys out of here, though, if we can. Okay, 900s, 520s, because I don't want to lose those for no reason. LVTPs all run down here. We did get two Sea Harriers, so we're going to use those to try and get to their radar, because everyone gets the hell out of Dodge here ASAP, hopefully. And then recon-wise, I guess we'll get ourselves a Gazelle. Not the Sneb, just a regular Gazelle to spot stuff, hopefully. Here comes the Sea Harriers. Knocking out. Okay, kind of shouldn't have targeted the same one there. Oh, that's the HQ six ones. No. Oh, I don't know. They shouldn't have targeted the same ones. Oh well, that's very frustrating. Can't really do much about that though. We have one VAP stuck in the mud over here. That's not good. 
Here come their ZTZ-85s. These guys are scary. They're 140 point tanks and they get quite a bunch of those. So hopefully this works out for us. If not, we are in gonna, gonna be in some trouble. Mover Legion, nice. That's a side shot on a 140 point tank. Knocks it out immediately. Uh, let's get ourselves a Prowler. Send them over to Tuteshan. And maybe it'd be worth for us to start getting some helicopters over here. Like some of these Tigers with the anti-tank rockets. Because they are pretty damn awesome. And hopefully they can hold the line with what I got. Lijon are firing Erics's at these ZTC 285s. Missile 1. Missile 2. Oh, we killed one of them and there's more. Oh, we killed two of them, I think. There might only be one left, which is perfect. Another PGZ over there. Okay, Lijon doing some uh, good damage in here, getting some range kills. Okay, Gazelle will park you right over here. Then we might want to start getting some Milans. I know I can get a couple of helicopters to get here faster. So, because we can get some longer range kills going. Our Tiger is going to hopefully help out with those hot twos. And then I didn't get a, a fob over here near this P4, which is fine. We'll figure it out one way or another. Put a Rasset over here. Okay, we lost that recon real quick. That might have been a that might have been some you know radar AA. That's annoying. Here comes the planes. But guess what? They are super scared of my AA, which is great to see. Another rocket coming out. No, hit it. We'll hit the. Didn't hit what it needed to hit though. So it's whatever. Lijon in some trouble here. Where's my Tiger? Engage if we can. What's the stabilizer? 50% and 65 regular accuracy. Hit another kill. That's perfect. Another another kill. Okay, Lijon fall back a little bit just so we can get a second of healing. Another one down. That's a good hit. Tiger. Okay, there's one of the radar guided AAs. We're going to have to take those down. I know we have the A-10s, but the A-10s are going to get knocked down if I don't stop. Oh, here comes the Q5Is. Oh! Oh, we pulled them out just in time. Oh, no, the Legion. Well, we lost one Legion right there. That's fine. Did we knock out one of their planes? Yes, we did. That's perfect. It comes a Prowler. Prowler, missile away one. Hits. Missile away two. Two for two. Yes, that's perfect. Love it. All right, Lynx disembark. See if we can get some more Legion 90 in there to help uh, resupply the losses we have suffered. Uh, get one of the stolen cargo trucks because they are great. Um, doesn't cost us anything. Get a truck in here, and I guess we'll get a truck over... Actually, they are getting resupplied. Put a truck over here anyway, just because we can. Infantry in there. Lynx, fall back. We have the recon unit over here to try and spot for us to get some early warnings. This tiger will might as well land you on the road if it's safe, which I think it looks to be. And then when his Legion, it needs uh, some help. But yeah, we'll give it... Wait, did we lose one of our IHOCs? We might have lost one of our IHOCs here. I'm looking for it. Didn't I have one right here somewhere? Ah, oh, we did lose one. Damn it, how did we lose? What killed it? I kind of want to see. It might have been one of the the aircraft dropping some bombs on it, but I'm just surprised to see that. Okay, Sea Harrier, fly on in. Another Prowler. I don't really care about getting A-10s, though I could buy one right now. I need to first get the Prowlers and Sea Harriers to do their job, and then we'll start looking towards uh, figuring out everything else so sea harrier make sure that we fly over here okay now it might be time for the a10 check this left area where we did see or our gazelle did get shot down but i'm not sure what caused it i think we did knock down like six or so if they're aa okay thunderbolt we need recon in here we need an maybe an oh6 Oh, never mind. <laughs> tiger knocked that out. Get it up. I must have the tiger. I can't tell. No, never mind. That got knocked out. Okay, Thunderbolt. Guess what? You are retreating. Maybe we can get some KFC 16s, which I think are our best anti or air superiority fighter. So I think we're going to just be ready and calling these in. Milan's engaging, getting some good long range hits in. At least one of those was a hit. That is perfect. Might even consider getting some more of those. Honestly, we can. Just doubling up on their firepower. Well, we need a little bit more. Oh, that's a kill. Perfect. Okay, here comes our VAB. To drop off some more Legion 90. 
Prowler 1, Sea Harrier, and there. So we're kind of sp spreading out our units. Getting some cargo trucks to come in. Okay, that looks like a target for the A-10. Prowler, okay, we got some vehicle. La okay, well, we can just shift click. Prowler doesn't have any eyes on anything. Okay, nothing and nothing. So evac. Here comes the A-10. Here comes the Burt. It might just engage with the... Oh, I didn't see that one. Damn it. All right, go for the ZTZ. Oh, really, dude? Oh, now you're engaging? What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Okay, well, that's a kill. Okay, we might have to turn off evac Winchester for these A-10s. Because I kind of don't want to have... I don't want them to just... Okay, let's go do that real quick. I know it's under gameplay. It's here. Okay, so let's say no. Going to have to very carefully remember this. So now if our A-10s run out of ammo, of ATGM ammo, they will not automatically retreat, which is kind of good. I called a one of these F-111 so we can maybe bomb whatever this is. It looks like it could be one of their fobs. There we go. I think if we actually canceled its missiles, it would use the guns, which would be more fun. But, you know, this is working out for us just fine. F-111, and that's going to be great. That's 4,000 kilos, or like 8,000 pounds of bombs going off there. Thunderbolt, missile 2. Oh, no. Okay, we'll just... Okay, I'm already forgetting right away that we have to retreat these guys, though. We'll keep the Prowlers going out, just so we can have uh, early warning on their... Okay, spot and click. Early warning on their radar AA, which this might be one of them, just considering it got spotted real, for, for a quick second. A-10. Doesn't have eyes on that unit. It's kind of annoying. Okay, Prowlers and Sea Harriers. I love that they're the same speed, too, which makes it really easy to use them. No eyes on that. That's a little frustrating. A-10. Bird coming in. Love that. That's perfect. Another hardened... A-10, which is great. Uh, let's get ourselves a recon helicopter all the way up on this ridge, and then we'll start scouting out Tucson Sean. Oh, that's so beautiful. So the same thing that we did with the Mavericks, or the F-18s, we can do here, where we just kind of let them kill the tanks, get some experience. Not Never a bad thing. Oh, that's just so awesome. Okay, let's evac you now. OH-6, move up. Okay, target 1 and target 2. So let's see what happens here. It should target both those tanks now. One away. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Some missiles, some guns. Oh, that's awesome. And we haven't even really... Oh, I forgot about this VAB over here. Make them into 1. That Was, was that a ZTZ-3? That oh, was a two. Okay, time to send some more prowlers over here. Thunderbolt. Oh, that's a three. It's a three. It's a three. Q5s, 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 Q5s. Okay, destroy the ZTZ. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of bombs coming in. Oh, they just hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh, we didn't even knock out one of their planes, did we? That's frustrating. I called them in the second I saw them, too. Okay, well, you know. Try doing that as soon as possible. Okay, all of our planes can uh, retreat again. Do have some truck here. Some trucks here. We'll deal with those. Okay, Rima, fall back. We have any... Okay, we could probably get some Royal Marines to just fly over here. We have enough points, so we'll use them for that. And we don't have any points left. To, well, we don't have any air slots left. We can just get some Tigers over here. F-111. Ooh, this might even get the CGZ right here. Oh, it stunned it and did some light damage to it there. Lijon knocking that out. Forgetting to, uh, you know, evac as is tradition. Because I'm totally not going to remember that. And I'm going to have to turn it off again after this battle. Because I'll be like, man, why am I losing all my planes? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, right. I, <laughs> I forgot that I turned that on. But it's just so when the Mavericks are out, they don't retreat. 
which is you know it doesn't make any sense to me because it's annoying right we don't have to they don't have to retreat right away because there's still a bunch of stuff they could do prowlers nothing sea harrier nothing prowler nothing all right evac q a 10 oh look at that we found a cv Okay, shift clicked a bunch of times, so it should get this ETZ, the one behind that, and the CV back there. Okay, that is if it wants to. There we go, perfect. And then turn and burn. Oh, that's a Q5I. It's going to clearly attempt to knock out... Okay, now we have two uh, of our cave C16s coming out. Come on, we gotta catch these guys. We knocked one of their stupid Q5s or Q5Ds. Oh, we hit it, so it's gonna be it's gonna be broken for a little while now. Okay, well we found our other CV over here. That's another ZTZ2. I mean, we could just really engage these with the Mavericks. There, we'll just tell it to engage all those things at the same time. It'll hit something, right? It'll be great. We'll use some Mavericks because we can. Uh, Lynxes, you have arrived, which is great. So, get those. Okay, we'll probably get you to just come out of here again. They're just... They're, I'm just doing this to make sure they haven't called in any AA in the meantime, right? But... Royal Marines, fly in. Okay, while well, I'm missing those cargo trucks... Oh, did some damage to that guy right there. Ooh, that was good. Okay, can we get this ZTZ3? I don't think we can right now. Prowlers and Prowler evac. Turn around. What is that? What was that all the way in the back there? That's weird. Was that a potential radar? I don't know. Thunderbolt. Knock it out, please. Go Bert. Oh, that's 140 point tank. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, our Tigers. Set up on this hill. Gazelle, push up. We might as well just make our point gain even better. Just because we can. And even call in a jeep over here. It looks like there's nothing... I don't know what that was spotted back here, but I don't think... Oh, there is some radar back here. Huh. Look at that. Knocked one of them out. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's dead. Yep, 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 yep. That's two Sea Harriers gone. Uh, hopefully that doesn't kill the unit. I think it won't, because there's another... The other the Bomb Harriers are part of that one, too. These GR5s, I believe. It's just very annoying, right? I, I just <laughs> forgot that that was going to happen. That's very sad. It's very sad um, that I forgot. So hopefully this Prowler knocks out those ZTZs, or uh, PGZs, or PGZ. Missile away. Okay, well, now I need to remember to freaking press retreat. God damn it. it. It do be like that, right? Okay, knock out these tanks, please. Okay, and then strafing run. Brrrt. Here we go. That's so awesome. That is so cool. Okay, prowlers. Might as well just start looking around here in the back of the map. They only have 154 points left to kill. So, I mean, we can bomb the CV area here because we kind of know where it is. Oh, Prowler. Oh, wow. Comes in clutch. Knocks out, like, one of their... Uh, I think that might have been uh, one of their wheeled. Oh, no. It was another PGZ. That might have been their last PGZ, however, which is great. Okay. F-111. If we kill our CV now, this game over anyway. And 4,000 kilos worth of bombs or 8,000 pounds. We'll do that, probably. Yep. Hopefully, we knocked out the tank unit. Oh, total victory? We didn't fully kill it? Let's take a look. What did we lose our Hawk to? Oh, it was a ZTZ. Okay. Well, wait. So we lost our recon to a ZTZ. Okay, that makes sense. So we didn't lose two of our Sea Harriers, but it's okay because they can now, since I assigned them to the land, um, it's not like, a, it's not great. It's only, it's going to cost me six points. And I think that's pretty worth it considering how strong this unit was. And they also can't heal here. It's annoying that it didn't knock out these tanks. It was a, it was a victory, not a total victory though. But let's take a well, it was a total victory, but not like they weren't annihilated. Let's take a look at the units here though. So the Zanchi, this is a shitty unit. Ubei is like militia, so this is a very poopy unit to deal with. This will be nothing. 
Here's some anti-tank units. These are actually good because they have the amazing ZDF and his WZ-55, which I know are great. The Jeeps are more of a joke, but these two are both really strong against tanks. Look at that 2,975 meter range, 70 accuracy, 26 AP power. These are nuts. Then we have another infantry unit here, which is kind of a joke again. We have some artillery in the form of what, 150, oh, 120 millimeter mortars. Another infantry unit, that's again just a meme. We have another infantry unit, that's a meme. We have some J7Hs, which I think were the ones that were initially here and we kind of just didn't see them. What is this one though? ZTS. So I'm thinking, what if we were to deploy, well we can't. I think we can't. It would be great if we could deploy inside of Taishan right now. But I don't have the power to do so. None of my units are capable of moving other than these Japanese airborne units. If I had a little bit of firepower left or a little bit of units left, I would totally send them in there and hope to destroy especially all these ZTZs. Because still have 32 of the 140 point ones, which is very scary. I think, however, we are going to call it there. Um... It looks like uh, Pyongyang, however, is safe. These Q5Ds, they did lose two or three or four of them. And I think they lost four because I think they came with eight. So, or maybe... Wait, these aren't even the ATO. Oh, these are just the Zuni rocket ones. I thought these were the cluster bomber ones. Okay, well, better for us. Uh, easier to deal with this way. Okay, we're going to have to fight the battle for November. But we're not going to do that right now. We'll save that beautiful naval battle, uh, all sarcasm intended, for the next video. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Cheers.